You'll never find one of these ever being used here. <laughs> Just thought I'd bring it in to show y'all. This is for construction. What's up YouTube? This is Brian at GP Rod and Customs. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Teach It Tuesday. Today I have this box that I built for our current for my current build that I'm working on, which is a Lamborghini Gallardo. Uh, basically, this is a simple wedge box. And I've just added some panels to it so you can see it's just your basic wedge. You got a slant on this side, straight on this side. It's just like what would be in a truck, you know. This is gonna go behind the passenger seat of the Gallardo. And you can see I've added a top panel to it, side panel, and the reason for this cutout and this cutout is because it's a rear firing speaker box. So this is basically to let the sound out. And this is going up against the side of the wall, of the side wall. So I'm going to show you how a simple way, it's a real clean look to wrap this box uh, without having to stretch it all the way around and trying to avoid getting wrinkles in your vinyl. And uh, a lot of people that have been doing this for a while like me probably already know this trick and have done it a lot of times. So this is mainly for beginners that are wrapping boxes. So basically, I have copied this side, made a copy of it, I've reduced it down a quarter of an inch, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to bondo mold that piece on there. And then I'm going to wrap the box. Wrap this piece. Stick it in. And then we're going to put it in that Lamborghini. Alright, so first step in this process is going to be that we need to take some double sided tape. Run along your two edges that have been reduced down. So basically this top edge and this front edge, they both need tape put on it and basically what the tape is going to do it's going to allow for the thickness of the vinyl that we're going to use so I'm going to begin to do that each layer of tape will represent one layer of vinyl so I'll need two layers of vinyl on this box one that'll wrap around the bondo piece and then one that'll wrap around this insert piece so I'll have to put two layers of tape on it. Alright, so now when you get that done, Take some template tape, throw it on your insert, and stick your insert onto your box. Now we're ready to bondo mold it. So basically we'll fill all that in with bondo.
So the next thing you'd want to do is you want to pop this piece off. Now you have a clean edge to wrap your vinyl around. So basically, you can take your vinyl down this way and just wrap it around this edge, glue it to the inside of that edge. Real, you'll have a real clean seam right there. And then you can wrap your insert, stick your insert in, which we'll do that next. All right, so once you get your Bondo, sand it on the inside, you're ready to cover it. So I got me some vinyl cut out. I'm gonna glue it. I'm gonna glue it to the box and get it wrapped up. just to make it to fold over nicely. You don't really need it, but it just helps it to fold over a little bit better. Lamborghini and see how it fits in it. Looks like it fits pretty good to me. All right, so that's it. 
that's just wrapping a simple wedge box with a little simple seam for the insert. Uh, hope you liked that. If you did, subscribe to our channel, like us, follow us on Instagram, and remember, share the knowledge. Thank you.